Those who have seen Monster can attest collectively whether they like it or not to how incredibly uncomfortable and unconventional this show is. The topic of evil is proactively exploited through revealing the extents of human depravity with exploring matters such as child abuse, mass murder, collective brainwashing, human experimentations, the value of life and so much more. These are some of the themes which most people make a conscious effort to keep as far away as possible from them. Yet Monster sits thus right next to the viewers, maybe even introduces them. It's a slow descent into the world consumed by violence, angst, murder and retribution. Yet, for every larger evil, there is always a counterbalance, a small ray of love and redemption. Thus, Monster reinvents the classic dichotomy of good and evil and does so masterfully. Today I'm putting a great amount of efforts into making this video where I'm listing the top 15 animes which are similar to Monster. Some are similar in plot, some are similar in ideals and perspective of monster. So make sure to watch the video till the end and without any further ado, let's start with our video. On the 15th number, the anime name is Paranoia Asian. Satoshi Kon, director of such classics as Perfect Blue and Millennium Actress, is famous for pushing the boundaries of anime. His first anime series, Paranoia Asian, is no different. But like his other works, you will either love it or hate it. This short 13 episode series is full of more twists and turns than you can ever imagine. And the animation style is anything but traditional. The story begins with Detective Keiichi Ikari, as known as the Chief, and Mitsuhiro Maniwa investigating the street assault of Tsukiko Sagi, a famous designer for a toy company and a creator of Maromi, a popular cartoon character. She claims that she was walking home from work that night before she was attacked by a boy on roller skates wielding a bent baseball bat. When rumors get out of her attack, the people in the town begins to refer him as Lil Slugger. The story is quite complicated but executed with flair. Any dull moments serve to advance the viewer's understanding of complicated characters and scenarios. Plainly, the plot revolves around a series of attacks on people who appears to be unrelated. The plot dedicates episode to each of these victims and merges their paths together to view a story of connection and basically highlight the power of paranoia. This is a gritty and mature anime. It deals with issues such as incest, violence, technology, consumerism, blackmail, hatred and the power of media and the power of rumors as Lil Slugger becomes more fiction than a fact. On the 14th number, the anime name is Babylon. Where to start with Babylon? Babylon is one wacky ride. One minute, you will think you are watching some boring novel adaptation and the next minute you will realize there's some genuinely disturbing terror unfolding right before your eyes. One half baffling and the other half extraordinary. The story is pretty much complex in its ideas yet linear in its constitution. Meaning that while it's theoretically one single story on a timeline from start to end, the threads that make up its plots all view themselves behind the scenes as we view everything through the eyes of line public prosecutor working to unravel the very scheme that he's set against. Best way to describe this type of story is thriller, conspiracy, mystery, political, psychological and all this good stuff with the numerous twists and unexpected turns that comes with these genres. It takes a bit to set up though, starting as an investigation into a pharmaceutical scandal in the first two episodes, gaining in tension and scale until you are so confused as to why these bizarre things are happening. And then there is a whole bureau working against an elected government to fight its insane ideals. But even with reveal after reveal, you still won't know everything. The show keeps its hand perfectly obstructed and shrouded in mystery, exposing you to only sexiest yet most disorienting parts to confuse you while taunting you with the promise of information. The story ends in a pretty confusing way though, but it was hell of a ride throughout all the previous episodes. On the 13th number, the anime name is Another. 26 years ago, something terrible happened in a middle school's third year classroom. A popular talented student named Misaki suddenly died and then ramification of that incident have caused each third year class since then to live in fear. It is now in 1998, Koichi Sakakibara has just transferred into this notorious classroom. Curious about the mysterious secrets that his peers are hiding from him, he is drawn to an enigmatic girl named Mei Misaki in his class, a quiet student who wears an eye patch and warns him about getting involved with her 
and continues to seek her out against the plea of her classmates. And that's when people begin to violently die. I recommend you to go and watch another right now. It's only a few hours of your spare time and you really don't have anything to lose except one night of sleep if you are really scared. If you are going to watch it, I recommend watching it at midnight. It's surprisingly good. And you should not definitely miss on this one if you liked Monster. On the 12th number, the anime name is Kaiji, the ultimate survivor. The story of Kaiji begins when he takes a massive debt from this friend forcing him to resort to gambling on a secluded cruise called as Espoir, in French which is known as Hope. From this point onwards, Kaiji enters the gambling world where games cost millions of money and where a person's life matters less than money. Throughout the series, there are many challenges that emphasizes hope being nothing but a dream and that human beings will backstab each other for the sake of their survival. Half of the anime follows this grim realistic concept as Kaiji learns what society really is. As for being a thriller, almost every episode in the series is a freaking cliffhanger. I started watching the first episode before I started studying for an exam and I swear to god I watched the whole series in one day and I couldn't study of course. And what makes it one of the best thriller is that you cannot expect what's coming. It's very realistic that you won't believe in the things like resolution and friendship anymore. All that you see in this show is reality and despair. On the 11th number, the anime name is Rainbow. The story follows the life of 7 teenagers who have been placed in a reformatory for minor crimes. That's where they all meet and where their journey of life begins. Their daily humiliation and suffering are presented through the intense realistic scenes that makes you feel go uneasy as well as wonderful narrations too. In this rotten prison where every single thing seems corrupted, the seven boys discovered the true meaning of friendship, self-sacrifice, hope and solidarity. But of course not in an easy way. And pretty much this is the story. You definitely have to see it before you judge on anything. I have to say that this is one of the most underrated series I have seen in a while. From the first episode, I was intrigued by possibly just the first 10 minutes. The characters are the strong point of this show. Each one is chased by his own demons, who tries to fight for his life but never forgets about his friends who comes above all. Every character is unique and has his own secrets and dreams, but they all share the same love for one another. However, some characters are more highlighted thus more likeable. Generally, the characters are nice but sometimes too nice, to the point where you will feel like you are watching Saints in the prison. On the 10th number, the anime name is Serial Experiments Lane. A young anti-social middle school girl named Lane Iwakura becomes interested in a futuristic technology which is surrounding them to enter a new whole world which is called as The Wired. After her classmate Chisa Yomoda commits suicide, Lane only met this girl once though but she reaches out to her from the other side telling her to come to the wired world. As Lane's interest in the medium becomes more intense, she is led down to a path in which all of the truth behind reality, identity and how we communicate with one another are revealed to her, all of which causes her to question her own humanity. Ethical conflicts, metaphysical hingings, represented by loads and loads of different allusions, philosophical constructs, metaphysics, symbolism, the psychological makeup of the characters and the real motives behind the creators of the wire world becomes apparent. The border between the wired and the real world isn't all that clear though. The basic foundation of the storyline is science fact. Yet the dramatic presentation and events which unfolds will take you into the world of pure science fiction where the convection of reality are defined completely and repeatedly. You might love it or hate it and also one that can appeal to casual viewers and non-anime fans as well. Also definitely something computer and technology geeks would love. On the ninth number, the anime name is Terror in Resonance. The series takes place in modern day Tokyo and revolves around a duo of no-name teenagers who together forms a group called as Springs, which is a name set on unveiling hidden dark past of Japan's through the acts of terrorism. The name connects the group to Greek mythology and gives a well-researched elaboration. It's the duty of the detectives of Tokyo Police Department to figure out the end of these terrorist attacks through solving riddles relating to this mythology. In terms of story progression and believability, the series is well structured and sufficiently discusses underlying plot lines to form a complete whole picture. 
The series has a clear progression ending up to the grand finale in the last few episodes. This does mean that the start of the show is somewhat deceptive in what it want to be. While of course the size of the show restricts answering all open questions, it feels as a complete whole by at least answering the crucial plot points. To at least reach a satisfactory ending without needing any external sources such as manga or light novel. Unlike other shows in the same genre that is detective and thriller, one could not simply predict what is going to happen next. So this anime is must watch if you haven't seen this one yet. On the 8th number the anime name is Technolize. Technolize is an adult show. You may happen to witness homosexuality, SM, pedophilia, incest, bloodshed, meaningless violence and utter despair while watching it. This is a pitch black cyberpunk tale of high quality with intrinsic music, beautiful art, bright direction and mind blowing plot. At some point in the future, a dystopian system is created. The vast majority of the human population is purged into a massive killing. Some survivors that are considered violent and degenerate like you are sent to live in a city deep underground evoking Dante's hell. The underground city of Lux is controlled by three factions. a mafia group called the organo the populist cult called the salvation union and the bunch of rebel punks called rekan the story is mostly told through the eyes of young man named ichize he is an mma prize fighter whose father was executed for a crime he didn't commit and his mother died in a mining accident one day ichize's boss decide to buy him a prostitute even though ichize isn't interested she gets rough in bed and gouges him in the eyes so ichize throws her out This is taken as an insult by Ichize's boss. So our hero gets an arm and leg cut off. Fortunately, a scientist lady known as Doc manages to find Ichize and gives him cyborg limbs. She is affiliated with Organo and now so is Ichize. Not like he has anything better to do though. In another subplot, a surface dweller named Yoshi sees the malaise of utopia created and decides to create as much as chaos as possible because he believes that's the environment human best thrive in. The plot is very complex and amazing and definitely you will enjoy this one too. On this 7th number the anime name is Steins Gate. Steins Gate. This is one of my all time favorite anime. Steins Gate is about Okabe Rintaro, a mad scientist who spends his time hanging out in his laboratory with his friends Mayuri and Daru. Occasionally, they manage to invent futuristic gadgets, though these are never worth mentioning. The first few episodes may turn you down as it seems like your general slice of life comedy anime. However, when their most interesting invention, the phone microwave, turns out to be able to send text messages through the time, everything changes. The text messages sent to the past have a huge impact on the present. When Okabe in a horrifying way finds out about an evil organization called as Sen and their ways of doing, he is forced to use time traveling methods to prevent them from getting captured and stop their plans too. This is around 9 episode is where the amazing sci-fi thriller fires up its engines and puts the viewers on the edge of their seat. What follows is a fascinating, somewhat complex plot which manages to blow your mind each episode. Steins Gate is not just your generic time traveling show. The plot is executed perfectly, which is very rare in the time traveling shows. Hardly ever before have I encountered such a well thought and thorough plot as featured in Steins Gate. The show features several jumps in time, but still manages to keep the viewer's attention without confusing them. The pace present in Steins Gate is not lacking either. In fact, from episode 9 onwards, the show holds a perfect pace. Piece by piece, the mystery of the events that happens is unveiled, working towards a fantastic and satisfying ending, which is very rare especially for the show with such a complex plot and story. Steins Gate is pretty much the most amazing piece of art and I think it might stay for a while. On the 6th number, the anime name is Master Kieton. Ex-SAS archaeologist, part-time lecturer, traveler, historian and an insurance agent, Taichi Hiragi Kieton is a jack of all trades and is a master of life. He is simple, intelligent, humble and moralistic goody two shoes infused with the love of life and the possibility it brings. The show itself is an exact mirror reflection of its main character, a jack of all trades, in that it touches a wide variety of genres and themes from slice of life, romance, mystery, historical, war drama and thriller too. It dips into almost everything an anime of its premise possibly can. 
and then result is a flawed masterpiece packed with enough surprises to make it an easy recommendation for old school anime fans. Though lacking in the budget, the animation is not as great as some of the animes from the same period, but it is very much passable. The basic art style is very similar to Monster, which is not the only solid proof of Naoki Urasawa's involvement in the project. The anime has a strong European feel to it, as the story takes place all around the world. The art style, music and writing suits this very well and helps to create the right European feel without sacrificing the anime specific elements. The mystery shown in this one is too fantastic and keeps you hooked. Despite the flaws, Master Kieton delivers something unique that you will not find anywhere in the media. On the fifth number, the anime is Parasite the Maxim. Do you know the food chain theory? We humans stand high and the firm at the top of it. We are the absolute predators with no enemies which can pose a threat to us. Our main means of dying are either from the old age, a disease, an accident or being murdered. Yet, it is much easier for human to end the life of another living being. Various examples include domestication, hunting and urbanization. That's right, you are probably the most comfortable species on this earth where you could be sitting so comfortably in front of your laptop while other species live in fear of being killed anytime. In Parasite, alien beings emerge and pose a threat to humanity. People fear being killed. People keep calling these parasites as monsters as their emergence has shaken the firm foundations of humans. You see, being a long time winner of the earth and suddenly having it taken from you really scares the shit out of everyone, myself included. I know Parasite is merely a sci-fi anime, but time and time again, Parasite has reminded us of the true nature of our world we live in and we must not ignore nor run away from the truth. Humans are the true devils, the one with the power to destroy nature, to subdue other species, to create the rules for the world and all of this just for the benefit and selfishness of ourselves. Parasite is a masterpiece in my opinion and you should not miss on this one. On the fourth number, the anime name is Perfect Blue. Perfect Blue is not a series but an anime movie. The story is centered around Mima Kirigoe, the lead member of a pop trio group who's decided to go solo as an actress. Her small recurring role into direct to video series ends up turning into a big break. But the part and the subsequent photo shoot involves compromising situations to say the at least. On the top of all of this, she got a stalker that knows every intimate detail about her life and is posting it on the internet. And suddenly while going through all of these things, people around her starts dying and getting murdered and her sanity starts fraying. This film was Satoshi Kon's big break and you will know why when you will watch it. The line between reality and fantasy blurs more and more as the film goes on and you wonder if it's either all in her head or part of the direct to video series or for real. I was watching this movie in broad daylight and still it gave me chills and I was still scared out of my wits and the plot twist Oh my god, the plot twist in general is going to blow your mind out of the water. The story explores a number of topics that few other work in medium discuss, such as the loss of innocence, the perception of reality and many more things. It tackles these tough subjects without forcing them upon the viewers, as they are slowly immersed into the twisted world of Mima's life. On the third number, the anime name is Psychopaths. Psychopaths is set in the world where culpability of committing crimes can be measured. Known as Sibyl system, humans are measured based on their crime coefficient. In an almost dystopian future where humanity is controlled by the Sibyl system, strict conformance to the system is mandatory. Shinya Kogami is an enforcer and throughout the story, he is keen to arrest an enigmatic show who apparently cannot be judged by Sibyl system. The story places great emphasis on the apprehension of the mysterious individuals whose identity is not revealed until the middle of the series, with the story in suspense until its ultimate conclusion befitting the genre. Aiding Inspector Akane Tsunemori and Shinya Kogami, both of them will work hard in hand to solve the multiple cases while closing in on the mastermind of these crimes and true nature of the Siebel system. On the second number, the anime name is Gankutsu, the Count of Monte Cristo. Those familiar with the novel will know the basic of who the characters are and what general outcome of the story will be. Much like how anyone who knew the basic plot of Romeo and Juliet could easily predict the future in the anime Romeo x Juliet. 
To keep the things fresh and interesting, the story gets an extreme makeover by catapulting the plot 3000 years into the future and on the moon. The story is also told through Albert Morse's perspective. The story follows the main themes of the novel though, love, betrayal, revenge and redemption. It is an intricately woven story throughout the 24 episodes, each one ending in a cliffhanger making the viewers want to jump right into the next episode. Elements of mystery and suspense are used so efficiently that I was compelled to watch the whole anime in one sitting, something I rarely do with any other animes. The visuals are beautiful and innovative, using textures rather than solid colors. While this can be disorienting at first, especially with layers of brightly colored textures flashing across the screen, it does make for some of the most beautiful and creative sceneries I have seen in any film media. And on the first number, the anime name is Death Note. A notebook falls from the sky, and the human who writes a name in it is capable of killing the individual pictured in his mind. This presents the viewer with the highly debatable theme based on morals and justice. Yagami Light, who obtains this power to kill, utilizes it in the hope of creating a utopia in which he is a god. Criminals and only criminals are to be punished in hope of a perfect society. Is this, however, right? Is it right to kill individuals who have done something wrong and will do wrong again? Can they be reformed? Death Note presents the viewers with questions such as these, questions which cannot be easily answered. This series challenges the viewers' morals for that. But this debatable topic isn't the series' strong point. Death Note gets a 10 in the story department because of the way of the plot unravels. With great powers and ambitions, Yagami Light is forced to play a chair-gripping game of cat and mouse with those who seek to detain him. The way L attempts to persecute Light is something that I have never witnessed in an anime. The first 15 episodes will magically draw you closer and closer to the scene as suspense hangs over their individual methods for identifying the other. You will not be disappointed. Trust me and just watch this anime. And yeah, that was for today's video guys. That's the video about top 15 psychological thriller anime just like Monster. And I think this is the time to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.